Okay, so we have our project created and set up. We have saved our map and we've called it default map and save that to our maps folder. We've also set that as our game startup map and the game default map. We've also created a blueprint out of our shooter game mode base. That was a class that came with this project by default. We made that blueprint, stuck it in the game mode folder, and we also assigned the game mode to this game mode blueprint in our project. We are now ready to create our character class and we're going to start by creating a new C++ class. So here in C++ classes in the shooter folder, we can right click and choose new C++ class and we're going to choose character. Go ahead and click next and I'm going to call this shooter character. I can go ahead and click create class and allow Visual Studio to generate our new shooter character C++ class. Okay, now that my new class has been created, it's now opened up automatically here in Visual Studio. So I have shootercharacter.cpp and shootercharacter.h. Now let's head back over to the Unreal Engine editor. So we have our shooter character. Now don't worry if you don't see this red plus icon. I've connected this project to source control. You can see up here it says source control. This allows me to keep my project on the cloud so that I can control the versions as I change it and also make it available for you to download this project. So I'd like to create a blueprint based on shooter character. So let's right click on that and click create blueprint class based on shooter character. Now I'm gonna name this shooter character BP and I'm gonna stick it right here in the character folder. Click create blueprint class. Now you'll see right off the bat that we have some things built in. The character class by default has a capsule component and by default the capsule component is the root component. You cannot assign any other component to be the root component. So that's something to keep in mind when it comes to the character class. If you hold alt and left click and drag, you can rotate around the capsule component. We also have an arrow component, which is pretty handy to show us the forward direction for our character. And we also have a mesh. This is inherited as well. And it by default has nothing assigned to the skeletal mesh. We'll be assigning a mesh to this component very shortly. And we also have the character movement component and this has a whole bunch of things that we can edit from here in the details panel. Now let's select the capsule component and in the rendering section we can uncheck hidden in game and this will allow us to see it once we put it inside the game. Go ahead and compile and close that out. Now we have this shooter character BP which is our character blueprint. And we can now set this as the default pawn for our project. So let's go to game mode and open up the game mode blueprint. And here for default pawn class, we can select shooter character BP. Go ahead and save that and close it. And now when we hit play, you'll see that we start off as the shooter character BP. In fact, in the world outliner, we can search for shooter and we'll see shooter character b shooter character bp underscore c that's the default name that it gives this once it spawns it using the player start go ahead and click eject and we can zoom out and you'll be able to see it's it might be hard to see in the video but on your screen you should be able to see the capsule so go ahead and click possess so we'll be possessing the character and if you click in the viewport and try to move around, you'll notice that nothing happens. And that's because by default, the character class doesn't have movement code already inside of it. We're going to script out that functionality ourselves. So go ahead and hit escape. So this concludes our video. We've created a new character class called shooter character. We saw that it already has some functions in the .cpp and .h files and we were able to create a blueprint based on our character and stick it in the character folder and we finally assigned the default pawn class here in the shooter game mode base BP and we assigned it 
to shooter character BP. So now everything is set up to where when we play, we will spawn our character, the shooter character BP, in the place of the player start. So we're all set up and ready to continue scripting out functionality in our new character class. So we will continue to do so in the next video.